In Google Analytics, you can create custom reports that show exactly the information you want to see organized in the way you want to see it. You define your reports by specifying the metrics and dimensions you want to see. Metrics appear in the scorecard at the top of the report and are columns in your report table. They're usually numeric measurements. Each row in your report table will correspond to the value of a dimension. In this case, the dimension is browser, so each row shows data for a different browser. Let's look at how we'd create this report. The context filter lets you limit a report to just a subset of data. So for example here, we'll limit the report to include only visits from people in California. Having multiple report tabs is kind of like having multiple reports, because each report tab can have its own set of dimensions and metrics, and can show the data in a different format. For this report, we'll set up two tabs, so we can see our data in both Explorer and Flat Table mode. Here's how the Explorer tab will look. We have a graph, and we can drill down to see the operating systems for each browser. And here's how the flat table will look. It shows all the browser and operating system combinations in a single table. This is useful for data that you intend to export. We're ready to add our metrics. If you have a lot of metrics, you might want to split them up into groups and put each group of metrics on its own tab. For our purposes, we'll just have one tab. The metrics are visits, bounces, and average time on site. The rows of the table are going to be browsers. And then we want to see the operating systems for each browser. Now let's go back and specify the same metrics and dimensions for our flat table tab. Finally, we'll select the profiles in which we want the report to be available. The report will automatically be available in the profile in which you're working, plus any additional profiles you select. Then we'll save the report. Now you can see that our custom report is listed in the left navigation on the Custom Reports tab. We can click it any time to see the report. The report is also listed in the Custom Reports Overview, and it can be edited, shared, or deleted. Now you're ready to try creating your own custom reports. Thanks for listening.